Hi everyone, welcome back to MLT MCQ and Notes. This is a third part video of MCQ in Parasitology. First question, Culex mosquito associated with the transmission of option A, Dengue, option B, Chikungunya, option C, Malaria, option D, Filariasis. And the answer is, option D, Filariasis. What is the another disease transmitted by Culex mosquito? That is Japanese encephalitis. Culex mosquito also transmit Japanese encephalitis. Let's see the rest of the options. Option A, Dengue, which is transmitted by Aedes aegypti, which is transmitted by Aedes aegypti. Then uh, chikungunya chikungunya also transmitted by Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopticus then third option malaria which is transmitted by anopheles mosquito female anopheles mosquito then last option filariasis by culex then next question second question which among the following doesn't, does not enter human body via skin. Option A, Trichuris trichura. Option B, Ancelostoma. Option C, Strong Eloids. Option D, Necator. The answer is Option A, Trichuris trichura. The infection is known as trichinellosis. People get by eating raw or undercooked meat from animal infected with trichinella. The trichinellosis uh, people can get by eating raw or undercooked meat from animal infected with trichinella. Let's see other options. Ancelostoma. Ancelostoma or hookworm. Other name is hookworm. Hookworm infection mainly occurred by walking barefoot on contaminated soil. Walking barefoot on contaminated soil. Uh, then next option, strong alerts. It's also occurred by uh, walking with barefoot and anchelos anchelostoma strong alloids then necator it is also occurred by walking with barefoot okay next next question third question pigs are reservoir of option a tinea solium option b tinea saginata option c trichinella spiralis option d both a and c the answer is what is the answer? Sometimes we don't read all the options. The first option seems correct at first glance. So the first option will be selected quickly. Same thing happens with this question also. Most of us know pigs are reservoir of tenia solium. In other words, pigs are the intermediate host of tenia solium. That's correct. But in this question, Option C, Trichinella, that is also the answer. So, the answer is option D, both the A and C. Pigs are reservoir of Tania solium and Trichinella spiralis. Okay, then next question. Fourth question, which is, which worm is longest? Longest, that is uh, lengthy. Which worm is lengthy? Option A, Tinea saginata. Option B, Tinea solium. Option C, hook worm. Option D, Ascaris lambricoides. The answer is, most of us choose Ascaris lambricoides. But the answer is, Tinea saginata. In the case of Tinea saginata, its length 5 to 10 meters. Then Tinea solium. 2 to 3 meter in length, then Ascaris lambricoids 20 to 30 centimeter in length, then hookworm 12 centimeter. Next question, fifth question. Most common cause of dysentery in adult? Option A, Cryptosporidia. Option B, Giardia. Option C, Endemiba histolytica. Option D, Strong Eloids. And the answer is Option C, Endemiba histolytica. Other options like Cryptosporidia, Giardia, Strongaloids, they, uh, they are diarrhea causing parasites. Giardia causes giardiasis, 
which is associated with diarrhea, stomach cramps, nausea, etc. Uh, in the case of Giardia lamlia, falling leaf like motility is very important. Then strong eyeloids, which causes intermittent episode of diarrhea and constipation. Okay, then next question. Let's discuss other some important points. Uh, bacterial dysentery causing agents that is Shigella, Campylobacter, Vibrio parahemolyticus. Then next important point parasitic dysentery causing agents Endemoeba histolytica, Schistosoma hematobium, Trichuris trichura, Balantidium coli. Okay, note down the all points. Sixth question, all are true about endemoeba histolytica except Option A, cause disease in brain Option B, stool trophozoids are essential for diagnosis Option C, cause disease in liver Option D, 85% asymptomatic Which is the answer? The answer is Option B, stool trophozoids are es essential for diagnosis that is, the diagnostic stage of endemoeba histolytica is quadrinucleated cyst. So, uh, trophozoids seen in stool in the case of active infection, that is acute stage, but soon they disappear. The diagnostic stage of endemoeba histolytica is quadrinucleated cyst. Trophozoids seen in stool in the, in the case of active infection, that is acute stage. But soon they disappear. So the option B is incorrect. Then moving to other option. Uh, it causes extra extra intestinal amoebiasis. So seen in liver, brain, etc. So the option A and option C are correct. Then the majority of the people who are infected with endemoeba histolytica will experience no symptoms. Majority of pupils are asymptomatic. So, option D is also correct. The next question, seventh question, steatoria causing parasite. Option A, endemoeba histolytica. Option B, neglaria. Option C, giardia lamlia. Option D, strong eyeloids. And the answer is option C, giardia lamlia. Steatoria is the condition in which an increase in fat excretion in the stool an increase in fat excretion in the stool. The important pathogenesis of Giardia lamnia is malabsorption of fat. Malabsorption of fat. Okay. Next question. Eighth question. Most common site for amoebiasis. Option A. Hepatic flusher. Option B. Sigmoid colon. Option C. Ileocecal region. Option D. Transverse colon. The answer is option C, ileocecal region. The ile, that is last portion of small intestine. Ileocecal region is, is uh, last portion of small intestine. Intestinal amoebiasis is uh, very important. Okay. Ninth question. Most common parasitic causative agent for sexually transmitted disease. Most common parasitic causative agent for sexually transmitted disease. Option A, Giardia lamlia. Option B, Androbius vermicularis. Option C, Balantidium coli. Option D, Trichomonas vaginalis. The answer is Option D, Trichomonas vaginalis. Uh, the other most common parasitic causative agent for sexually transmitted disease, uh, which can be uh, asked other way like non-gonococcal urethritis non-gonococcal urethritis okay the important feature of trichomonas is it's only exists in trophozoid stage trichomonas only exists in trophozoid stage not in the cystic stage okay it has jerky motility or twitching motility. Consists of five flagella. Five flagella. GRDA infection can be get by uh, ingestion of contaminated food and water. Then androbius vermicularis, which 
also called pinworm and infection spread by fecal oral route. Balandidium coli, which infected by eating or drinking contaminated food and water. Tenth question, a positive Montenegro reaction is seen in option A. Leishmaniasis, option B. Chagas disease, option C. African sleeping sickness, option D. None of the above. And the answer is option A. Leishmaniasis. What is Montenegro reaction? That is also called Leishmanian skin test. It is a immunological skin test that measures delayed type hypersensitivity to Leishmania antigen. Measures delayed type hypersensitivity to Leishmania antigen. It is performed via intradermal, intradermal injection of Leishmania antigens. Performed via intradermal injection of Leishmania antigens. This test determines the degree of exposure and immunity to the parasite. Test determine the degree of exposure and immunity to the parasite. 11th question, the protozoa which affects red cell, red blood cells. Okay, the protozoa which affects red blood cells. Option A, Babesia, Option B, Leishmania, Option C, Plasmodium, Option D, Option D, A and C. The answer is Option D, A and C, Babesia and Plasmodium, which both are infect red blood cells. Both are includes in subphylum Sporozoa. Babesia and Plasmodium includes subphylum Sporozoa. Leishmania placed under the subphylum Sarcomastigophora. Okay, next question. Twelfth question. Parasite causing oriental sore. Option A. Leishmania tropica. Option B. Leishmania brasiliensis. Option C. Leishmania donovani. Option D. All of the above. The answer is Leishmania option A is transmitted tropica. by the bite of sand fly. Leishmaniasis can be classified into three. Visceral leishmaniasis, cutaneous leishmaniasis, mucocutaneous leishmaniasis. And in the case of oriental sore which is caused by leishmania tropica. That is cutaneous leishmaniasis. Oriental sore which is cutaneous leishmaniasis. Then leishmania, leishmania donovani causes kalazar. That is visceral leishmaniasis which is more complicated. Then leishmania brasiliensis causes espundia. Espundia. That is mucocutaneous leishmaniasis. That is mucocutaneous leishmaniasis.